sitting in a cell in isolation at a federal prison in Leavenworth, Kansas, is 38-year-old Army War veteran Sergeant Robert Bales, charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder. The Pentagon is seeking the death penalty for Bales. The Army says he shot and stabbed 17 people, including nine children, to death in an Afghan village. But when Bales is put on trial, the Pentagon should also be put on trial, for it has known for many years what could happen if it just kept sending men and women back to battle again and again and again. It was Bale's fourth deployment in Iraq and then Afghanistan. He lost part of his foot and still he was sent back. He suffered a brain injury and still he was sent back. And then he snapped. During the Civil War, it was known as an exhausted heart. In World War I, they called it shell shock. As recently as 2010, the Pentagon studied the commission and found that multiple deployments result in a growing risk of soldiers engaging in violent crimes. And still, 107,000 troops, many of them National Guard troops, have been deployed a minimum of three times, some as many as 20 times. Without a draft, we simply don't have the troops to sustain one long war, let alone two. But that doesn't excuse Robert Bales. If found guilty, he should be punished severely, even though reports are he has little memory of what happened. But we can't ignore the stress we put on the men and women we send into battle. We're asking too much of them now. We should only go to war when we're threatened and we should leave immediately after the mission is completed. And we can start by bringing them all home now.